Hey everybody, this is Jason Akers with Green Acres Pest Control. Today, I want to go over bed bugs and I want to go over hotels. I do statewide bed bug control in the state of Virginia. It's a unique thing that I offer my customers where no matter where you live in the state of Virginia, I will drive to your house. Now, that comes with sometimes it's a four hour trip one way. Sometimes it's a five hour trip one way. Depending on where you live in Virginia, Virginia is a pretty good sized state. And if you're traveling from one area all the way over to the other, it could take all day. Um, so I stay in a lot of hotels. Uh, and you know, people are afraid of hotels because of bed bugs. Uh, one of the number one ways people used to get bed bugs was staying in hotels, uh, especially cheap hotels. That's the big, um, you know, and what, what I am going to go over today is I want to go over the fear that bed bugs come from hotels or that bed bugs come from cheap hotels. And we're going to go over whether or not that is true. So I've stayed in a lot of hotels. I'm in an embassy suites right now. Now that's a little more expensive, but they have a continental breakfast and they have a lot of the things I need because, you know, if I'm going four or five hours away from home, a lot of times I just take my family with me because it's uh, better for me to just take them with me. I miss my family when I'm away and uh, otherwise it'd just be me and my son. So we stay at a lot of places where families would need to stay. So if you're a family uh, or even if you're not, you know, we've stayed at uh, Motel 6s, Super 8s, uh, like I said, Embassy Suites, Hilton's, Marriott's, um, you name it, we've stayed at just about every place you could imagine, except like the budget motel down the street. Uh, we've turned away budget motels. Now, I've been in, now I'm going to go over names, and I'm not saying if you're a manager of a hotel watching this video, I don't want to say that your hotel chain is definitely a horrible place to stay. I'm only going to go over my personal experiences and... I've stayed at some cheap hotels that were very clean, very nice. Uh, Motel uh, 6, I've never stayed at a Motel 6 that didn't have bed bug problems. Um, I, in fact, I have, I've walked out of Motel 6s. I've never, ever stayed at a Motel 6 because when I get there and I realize it, I always inspect the room. So I go in, and if you're, if you're curious, I'll link a video <coughs> down in the description below. I have... Um, a video where I I, uh, I go over uh, Motel 6s and, and things. But anyway, the issue with a cheap motel is they usually hire a cheap exterminator. And that's not saying that all cheap exterminators are bad, but a lot of exterminators cut corners in order to give cheap prices. So when you're staying at a cheap motel... A lot of times you do run into a problem where they may have bed bugs or they may have had a bed bug problem or uh, you're dealing with people that can't afford to kill bed bugs in their own homes so they get a cheaper motel. They still want to go on vacation, but they try to get a cheaper motel. They may not be able to afford an exterminator at home to kill their bed bugs. So you're more likely to run into bed bugs at a cheaper motel. Do cheaper motels carry bed bugs all the time? No, of course not. But every cheap, every hotel I've ever been in, except for one, that was a cheap motel had bed bug problems. Um, uh, maybe two, maybe two. I think we stayed one on our way to Florida in Georgia. It was a cheap motel and it didn't have bed bugs. Uh, we were concerned it might, but it didn't. Um, but we stayed at a Holiday Inn, and that one had bed bugs. In fact. To tell you the truth, they were probably the worst as far as customer service that I've ever had to deal with. We went in and we inspected the beds. The beds were pretty much clean, but as you got over to the the, the side where most people would sleep when they first come into a hotel room, uh, I was seeing signs of bed bug droppings and blood stains on the box springs. And when I got under the bed and I looked up, there was bed bugs living in the uh, folds of the mattress and folds up the box spring. And when we went to customer service, my wife actually went down to the front desk and she said, look, uh, the room has bed bugs. We need a new room. Uh, the lady didn't even believe her. 
and she had to come up to the room and look for herself. We had to show her a live bed bug on the bed. I mean, we were there to treat for bed bugs. We know what bed bugs look like. And she just right out. It was very difficult to uh, to deal with this one specific person. And when we went, uh, we told her, well, you know, look, it's bed bugs. It's active bed bugs. We're going to leave. We're just going to leave. We'll go find a new place. All of a sudden, they had a vacancy when they thought we were going to take our money back. Um, so... Just so you know, that was the one we stayed at that was the worst. If you have any horrible bed bug problems about hotels and dealing with staff or anything, please leave them in the comments below. I'd love to hear your stories. I'm sure everybody who watches these videos would like to hear your story as well. But, um, so, my wife's sitting here to remind me what I was supposed to talk about because I have a hard time remembering well, things. Years. But three years I've been doing the long the long distance bed bug control. Motel 6s have never worked out. Motel 6s have never worked out. Super 8s hit or miss about 50% of the time. We've run into problems with Super 8s. But wow. Super 8s have always been really courteous, really kind, really courteous. I've never had a problem with the management or anything like that at a Super 8. Yeah. Uh, Sheratons. We stayed in a Sheraton. Sheraton. I don't know if you guys can hear her or not. The, pr the thing is about bed bugs, all right, this isn't just about bed bugs. It's also about comfort and, and, and your stay. Yeah. I think overall what we found has been La Quinta's and Embassy Suites. La Quinta's and, and, and Embassy Suites were the if best. As far as, like, yeah. if you're traveling with your family or pets, La Quinta, or La Quinta, La Quinta, La Quinta, I don't, I don't know how to pronounce the name of that motel chain, but they have pet policies. So if you have a pet and you're traveling... Uh, they don't even charge a deposit. You can just go there, and they, they're all right with your pets and everything. You just have to tell them, and they put you on a specific floor where pets are and stuff. So they're great. I, li I like them a lot. Uh, for, yeah, and Embassy Suites we stay at now because we don't have a pet anymore, so we stay at Embassy Suites a lot. But that's because we need a bigger bed because i got a, l a little one that sometimes gets up in the middle of the night and breastfeeds. He's 10 months old. And so, uh, I don't have to kick you out of the bed. yeah, and they, so they've got the two separate rooms where the kids can kind of bunk on the couch or the, the sofa bed and they can bring in a rollaway bed and stuff. So they're just really, they're really great to stay at. I really, really and like, you, figure, you know, Marriott where you have to pay for breakfast, right? Marriott, you have to pay for breakfast, breakfast embassy suites. You don't, breakfast. I'll tell you what's awesome about embassy suites. If you go to embassy suites between five, I think it's like five thirty. And 7.30 or 5 o'clock, 7 o'clock or whatever it is, they got cocktail hour and you get free liquor. So it's not like top shelf liquor. It's like house liquors, but you can get like a margarita. You can get a, just a, you know, bourbon and ice or whatever. They have snacks. It's, they have snacks like, like uh, tortilla chips and fruits and vegetables and stuff like that they give you. They really put on a spread. You could actually get full off the snacks. And uh, I don't know if anybody, a lot of people don't know this about me, but I'm vegan. And so they have a breakfast buffet they do in the morning where you can get like potatoes and grits and a moat meal and uh, coffee. They have, they offer a lot of them. I don't know if all of them do, but some of them don't offer like almond milk alternative to like, if you're lactose intolerant, if you don't do milk in your coffee or cream, they've got, you know, alternatives. So it's really, it's a really great place to stay. And probably my number one place to stay, if they've got one nearby bed bug job I have to do, I usually just stay there because when you go in and you look at the beds, the beds are clean. When you get under the bed to look up at the box spring, box springs are clean. They don't have any bed bugs on them. They don't have any sign they've ever had bed bugs at all. They are uh, really just an amazing place to stay, but you pay for it. You know, it's a lot more expensive. And it, like I said, if, if you're budget friendly, probably the most budget friendly place that I would stay if I had to, just me by myself and I didn't have my family, I would probably take a run at a Super 8 motel. Um, that's where I would probably stay myself. But the thing is, if you get in the room and you find bed bugs, I said, I've got a vacation video where I go and actually inspect the beds and everything because I wanted to show people how to do this if you were going on vacation. If you go back and watch that video, I explain exactly where to look for bed bugs. If you go in and you find bed bugs on your bed, Go to the management and demand another room. They have to give you another room or at least your money back. And you may, if you get in late at like 9, 10 o'clock at night and you need to go to another hotel, you're going to need to go to another hotel. It's not worth the problems you're going to run into infesting your home with bed bugs. So hopefully this has been a help for you guys. Um, it's been informative 
And if you like the video, get, think about giving me a thumbs up. If you really like it, share it around. Uh, subscribe to the channel. Also, YouTube's got this thing they're doing now with a notification bell. If you click that bell, you have to say that you want all notifications if you want to see when I go live. I've got a live stream coming up where I'm going to eat bugs on stream and answer questions. So, because I really appreciate all you guys. I got almost 7,000 subscribers. It's crazy. I never would have thought that so many people would be interested in what I had to say, but um, you guys are just amazing. Great. I appreciate all the donations and everything that comes through on my Patreon and everything. You guys are just fantastic. It really pushes me to do more of these videos. It really keeps me going. So you guys have a really great day. I appreciate it. I'm going to get off of here and go kill some bed bugs. <laughs> Thanks. Bye.